mCallout Specs is a great way to showcase specifications of products or services. 50 different customizable templates with a built-in tracker powered by Mocha. Let's get started. You can find mCallout Specs in the Title Templates tab of Final Cut Pro. Select mCallout Specs. Each template has suggested usage elements that can be chosen along with selectable icons. To use any of the title templates, select it and drag and drop it onto your timeline. To change the duration, simply drag the end of your clip. Play back your timeline to preview the animation. Let's add some tracking. Select it to bring on the on-screen controls. You have a track point, a title point, tracking analysis controls. Use the track point to set the area in which you want to track. Select the linked title control to move the position of your title. Before tracking, be sure to set your track point to an area that's unobscured and will appear throughout your clip. Using the tracking box, you can select the size and scale of your track. When ready to track, click the track button. After tracking is complete, play to review. Note that tracking will only start from where the playhead is positioned. To track the remainder of this clip, I'll select reverse and track once more. The title is now properly attached to our clip. To make changes to our title contents, open the inspector. Each title has a variety of different controls. Let's start with title. Each of the callouts have three different types of movements, including linked, static, and perspective. Let's take a look at those. Linked will follow our track, static will stay stationary, and perspective will move in relation with our track point. The horizontal flip control will flip the title position. Changing the title position will not alter the track. Inside the inspector are additional controls for position, scale, and our callout icons. Many of the titles have different icons to choose from. Experiment with them all. Icons can be further customized with color and background controls. Similar to our icons, text fields have their own controls for color, background, and more. Use the title dot and title line controls to change those colors in our title templates. There's even different track points to choose from, including a circle, a cross, or square. Let's preview our customized title. Need to manually adjust a track? Use the track controls to manually set points or animate them across time. Use the clear button in the track menu to clear the tracking data. Clicking on this button will bring up a menu of clearing the track forward, backward, or clearing all tracks. Select it and press OK to clear the information. Effectively, this will reset your title. Select a new track point, customize your title, and select the track button once more to motion track your footage and create new tracking data. As you can see, it's easy to set tracks and create customized titles. Let's take a look at another example. For this clip, we'll add several different titles to showcase different areas. I'll select and drag and drop my clip into my timeline. Because we're using Mocha for our tracking, you can be assured to get excellent tracking results. Even with camera movement, such as parallax, you'll be sure to get the best tracking possible, all with a single click. That means you get the results you want faster without constantly having to readjust your track. Because I want my title here, I'll start and select reverse first. And now I'll track the remainder of my clip. Once my track is complete, I'll use the customizable controls to adjust my template to fit my needs. Clicking on the color wells 
will change the color of the selected parameter. Each title and subtitle have background controls to help it better stand out from our footage. As a quick little tip, use the eyedropper function to use a color from your scene. Need more than one template? Just drag and drop a second one onto your timeline. If preferred, stylize your template before the tracking process. Each new template will require new tracking information. The time it takes to track your footage depends on clip properties and hardware specifications. If changing the clip duration after tracking, the tracking information should be replaced as it will no longer line up. However, it's easy to do so. Set your new track point, clear the tracking information, and retrack your clip. Now that it's been checked, I'll just change this title track point. You can find the title track point controls near the bottom of your title template properties. There's no limit to how many title templates you can attach to a clip. Just be aware, each clip will require fresh tracking information. By stacking our title templates and our timeline across time, we can outline different specs to build over time. For these items, I'd like them to be locked in a specific area on my scene, so I'll change them each to static. Now our track points and our link points are moving, but our titles are staying stationary. In this last example, let's take a look at using mcallout specs without tracking. I have a laptop and I'd like to add some titles as animated graphics. I'll adjust my text and position properties and I'll be sure to turn off my track point and my link. I'll continue by adding a second title. I'll use this one to show the resolution of this screen, using the controls to adjust my title template. Because I'm not using the tracker in this, I can just specify my specific points and use them as animated graphics without the need for tracking. Adding a fourth template, I've now quickly and easily showcased this entire laptop's features. It's easy to mix and match different M callouts for your project. My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberta, and for more information about M callouts, please visit www.motionvfx.com.